Hello again, my dashing, haberdashery, dashiki-wearing Deshawns. Welcome to another Quick Tips video. Um, this time I want to talk about Fencer not being fast enough. <laughs> yeah, but, but yeah, sometimes Fencer is not fast enough. And usually what I'm thinking about is mainly Red Wasps or um, Tadpoles, um, on Inferno especially online. Um, the enemies can get pretty fast, pretty dangerous, even for Fencer, and sometimes even drones. But uh, mainly I'm thinking of the Red Wasps and the, the Tadpoles. So, um, first of all, let me quickly cover Fencer's movement. So, for Fencer, if you choose a weapon from the first two columns, these two first two columns give you a dash forward. So that's your one weapon. Your second weapon, you want to take a weapon from this column, auto cannons, or some of the weapons in this column will also allow you to jump such as the light mortar or the cannon shot, um, but mainly this column is your mainly your jump column. So you take one dash weapon from these two and one jump weapon from this column or this one, and that is Fencer's main movement. So he dash jumps, dash jumps, dash jumps. That's his movement. And then you take an item, which allows you to increase your dash numbers. So this gives you six, the max gives you six, six dashes, and then six total jumps. So that allows you to dash jump six times. However, um, that's good enough for red wasps and tadpoles. However, when when you are out of your six dashes and jumps, you will have to land to the ground and wait for a cooldown of your jumps so you can do it again. Usually it takes about three dashes before your cooldown comes back up. So during that time you're on the ground, the three dashes, you can be getting absolutely destroyed by red wasps or tadpoles. So, is there a way to counter that? Um, yes, there is. Um, I would say the best way to counter that would be to use the Vibral Roller. Um, I like the Vibral Roller better because, one, it gives you damage uh, resistance, 60%. Uh, on this one, uh, whereas I don't have the best one on the English version, unfortunately, but um, but they give you damage resistance so that while you're while you're um, using your Vibra Roller in the air, landing to the ground, you have damage reduction, and then the animation of the roller will allow you to be on the ground for long enough so that when your roller is done, then you can go back to dash jumping. So it kind of it kind of gives you an option of movement while you're waiting for your cooldown to um, to come up. So I will explain this better in the actual video, but I just want to briefly cover that. So the Vibra Roller is one way. And then also, you can also, for your second way, you could take a Blast Twin Spear. This also allows you quick movement while you're on the ground, while you're waiting for your cooldown to come back up. However, the negative of this is it doesn't have any damage reduction, um, so that is one thing to keep in mind. But um, I do kind of prefer the, the um, roller because it's easier to, to, to perform, and also, like I said, it gives you damage reduction. So, um, with that uh, being explained, now let me go into the video and actually explain how to use this to uh, dodge... Um, to dodge... Uh, actually, before I do that, let me load up a mission really quickly, not this one. Let me load up a mission really quickly to show you... Okay, so since my left weapon is a dash weapon, it gives me a dash for the secondary, and my right weapon is a jump weapon, um, Fencer's main movement is you just dash jump in succession. Dash jump. And like I said, since on, on Inferno, the max you can do is six dash jumps before you have to wait for your cooldown to come back up, which is roughly about the length of three dashes. One, two, three. Then you can continue again. So that gives you six dash jumps, and then you have to wait for the cooldown and do three dashes by themselves. However, with faster enemies, I like to stay in the air the whole time because, like, when you're doing a dash jump and landing to the ground, this whole time you're landing to the ground, you're getting hit by wasps, um, especially the red ones and tadpoles. So, a way you can counter that is you can do the dash jumps in the air the whole time. So, stay in the air, don't land on the ground. Just do one, two, three, four, five, and six, and then land to the ground and dash three times. However, when you dash three times here on the ground and you go back to dash jumping, one, two, three, You'll see that you only have three because you use those three that are on the ground. And since you didn't touch the ground again, you didn't reset your dashes each time. So if you're going to stay in the air the whole time with these fast, quick dash jumps, you're only going to get three off. And then you're going to have to land to the ground again and dash three times. So that's really bad for fast enemies because you're going to be on the ground more often. I hope that makes sense because, like I said, it, as long as you touch the ground once, you reset your dashes. But you do not reset your jumps. So, like I said, if you're always staying in the air, then those three dashes you use for your cooldown are going to take away from the dashes you have in the air 
So one, two, three, and then I only have one, two, and a three in the air. So now I have to go to the ground again. So hope that makes sense. But anyway, the problem as always is when you have to land the ground and dash three times, you're going to get hit by, by fast enemies. That's where the roller comes in, and that's where the twin spears come in. So let me cut now to the video of me actually doing this on a mission. And the reason I'm using the Japanese version is because I don't have the best weapons. on, Or I don't have the best uh, r rival roller for the um, fencer on English version. But like I said, it still works on both versions. But uh, let me go ahead and cut to this video now and explain what I was doing here. Okay, for the first clip here, I want to show the Vibro Roller. This is mission 43. I'm playing online Inferno by myself here. Um, so this is the second wave because the first wave isn't too big of a deal. This is just a bunch of yellow wasps, so not too big of a deal. But the first thing I wanted to explain was um, for the Vibro Roller one, what you want to do is you want to dash hop six times in the air. And then what you want to do is you want to make sure to, to descend a little bit before you use your Vibro Roller. So I'm charging the Vibro Roller, by the way, in the background the whole time, so I'm always having it ready when I need to. But the, th the key is you want to make sure the Vibro Roller rolls along the ground long enough to reset your cooldown of your jump. So that's why I recommend not being too high in the air when you start the Vibro Roller. Like, as you can see, I'm falling down and then letting go of the Vibro Roller. That way I have enough time on the ground to reset my jumps. And since I'm not using any dashes on the ground, um, I will always have six dash jumps in the air once I return to dash jumping. So that's the very nice thing about the Vibro Roller. So now I killed... Um, I, so what you can do is you can be like the kiter of the group and just um, let the other people in, the, in your party stay back and missile or whatever and kill the, the wasps. I'm just staying up front and um, not kill anything myself. I'm just trying to stay alive. Of course, you could, during the middle of this, turn around and fire, which I have done and I will be showing in a challenge run here coming up soon because this is one of my next missions I'm on. But um, for the main part on this, this demonstration, I'm just trying to uh, show how to stay alive. So this is a bunch of red wasps now, so this gets tougher. So now I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm just going to dash around in a circle, dash hop six times in the right on the ground. Now this is the thing. I get stuck here in that fence, and that's the only reason I take damage. So that's one thing you have to be careful with. The Vibro Roller does destroy buildings, but for some reason if you land inside the fence and then set off your roller, it won't kill it. So just something to be careful with. But other than that, I don't really take much damage here. Because, as you can see, I'm doing six dash jumps. I descend a little bit and then roll along the ground long enough to reset my cooldown. And then I just continue around just in a circle here. So, uh, not too bad. And, uh, I th I, like I said, I like the Vibro Roller the best, as long as you don't get stuck on something like I did there. But, um, other than that, I pretty much didn't take any damage except when I got stuck in the fence. So, not too bad, um, with low health even. So, I really like this strategy, and I think it works pretty well for the Red Wasps and the Tadpoles. So now, um... I'm, the last wave I'm not going to show because it's actually easier than the second and the third wave. This is the hardest wave of this mission. So, but anyway, now let's go to the uh, twin spear. So the twin spear is a little bit different. I'm going to show the same waves: the second wave of 43 online, and then also the uh, third wave of 43. So the thing with the the um, twin spear is you have to you know use the twin spear along the ground long enough to reset your your cooldown of your, of your jumps. So once again, same idea: dash hop. Uh, six times and then just go along the ground and do a long enough uh, twin spear along the ground to where you can get back into the air and dash hop. So, um, I guess the only reason I would take this setup over the Vibro Roller is if the mission is better off with me taking the twin spear to fight other parts of the mission, but if, if a Vibro Roller is just as good, I will probably take Vibro Roller over the twin spear. But now I'm going to head over to the second wave so that the NPCs don't die. So now I'm going to dash hop over here and do the same thing with the Red Wasp. As you can see, it'll still work with the Red Wasp as well, because the, um, using the, the, not, not the other Twin Spears, but this is the Inferno level Twin Spear, this is the fast one. Um, this one will, will be fast enough to allow you to dodge the enemies. Um, but the, the lower level ones, unfortunately, do not do this fast attack, so that's unfortunate, but, uh, but here we go, now the Red Wasps are coming in, so I'm just going to do the same thing, just dash hop in the air. And that's the benefit of staying in the air the whole time rather than laying to the ground on each dash hop because when you're descending, that's when you get hit for the most part. So use the, the Twin Spears. And one thing important is you want to reload your Twin Spear every time you get back into the air so that you have a full Twin Spear to use along the ground because you don't have quite enough to actually um, use half and half. So I like to just reload every time. But as you can see, I'm not taking too much damage. Um, take a little bit more damage because, like I said, there's no damage reduction. But, um, but yeah, I, I, I like the, the roller a little bit better, but Twin Spear still works, as you can see. I'm able to um, 
stay alive along the red wasps as well. And this does work on tadpoles as well. Tadpoles are pretty vicious on Inferno, especially the later missions, but this does help um, to uh, stay alive longer and allows your team to help back you up while you're kind of distracting the enemy. So yeah, that's pretty much um, mainly what I wanted to show you. Um, and uh, like I said, these are I think these are pretty useful tactics, especially for higher level difficulties and higher level missions with these fast enemies. So. Hope this was helpful to you, and uh, once again, thanks a lot for watching, and remember, EDF doesn't leave a man behind, ever. And if you're interested in ways to support the channel, please consider liking the video or uh, watching a few ads, as it does help financially, and it's very much appreciated. Hope to see you on the next video.